Look, there's no denying that Liverpool have been one of world football's best teams for the past few years. Jurgen Klopp's Anfield revolution has been incredible to watch. However, a Premier League title still eludes the Reds. There was and still is a little bit of hope that due to the current situation going on in the world that the Premier League season would be voided and Liverpool would not win the Premier League title. I want to double down on this idea and this meme today. I'm not going to lie, I'm in a bit of a destructive mood right now and I thought instead of going down to my garage and having a sparring session with the boxing bag, why not just go absolutely crazy here on FIFA? This is basically an anti-rebuild. We're going to take Liverpool from reigning European champions all the way down to non-league football in FIFA. As today, we destroy Liverpool FC. G'day guys, how's it going? It is Jared HD here. Welcome to a different video on the channel. I thought, why not go ahead and destroy Liverpool? I've been wanting to do something fun and a little bit different for a while here. And this is going to be it. Now, a quick reminder, if you're a Liverpool fan, don't get too angry with me. I'm just taking the absolute piss throughout this video. And I honestly want Liverpool to win the league this season. I have a soft spot for Liverpool, but I just really want to destroy them. <laughs> but if you guys do go on to enjoy this destroying video, make sure you leave a like on the video. If it gets a good response, I might have to take over a few different clubs and destroy them. So as you can see here, this is what our starting 11 and our substitutes reserves, what the whole Liverpool squad looks like at the start of this first season. But if everything goes to plan, it's going to be looking very different this season and by the time this video is over. Also, I am on the PC, so I have used the mods on PC to keep our manager rating at 99 so that we can just cause absolute mayhem and not get sacked. The first player out of Liverpool is Fabinho off to Real Madrid for 52.7 million pounds. Big cock Divock is off to Newcastle United here, 16.8 million. Roberto Firmino off to Juventus. James Milner off to the French League, signing with Leon for 8.6 million. Alex Oxlade Chamberlain taking himself and his girlfriend from Little Mix, the pop star, off to Milan for 22.4 million. Joel Matti headed to Barcelona. Now, with all of these players leaving Liverpool, we have to bring in our own players. So, I'm honestly going to go ahead and sign a bunch of A League players. Some of them all right A League players, and then some of them absolutely terrible. But the first signing is going to be Tando Velafi, the world-class goalkeeper from the Perth Glory. Naby Keita, the latest player to depart the club. Costa Petratos coming from Newcastle Jets for £200,000. Big dollars. Zerdan Shakiri headed to Bilbao. I have decided to sign a player that I know quite well and that plays for my favourite club in Australia. It's Jordan O'Doherty. Now, the thing is, he's actually an alright player in the A-League. Like, he's a good player, so... I don't think I'll keep him here for the whole time, but I want to give him some experience and I wanted to give the Wanderers a lot of money. So we've paid 80 million pounds for him. Nice one. One player that I'm not selling in the entirety of this video is Jordan Henderson, the club captain. He is coming down on this sinking ship, blocking all transfer offers for him. We've done a reversal of the meme because the old meme with Liverpool used to be they used to sign everybody from Southampton. Well, now, Genie Van Alden is headed to Southampton. Two more A-League players joining us here. Sam Silvera, he's actually an alright player. He's a wonder kid in the A-League. He's coming across 52 rated straight to our starting 11. And then Curtis Good is going to hopefully make us not so good. If you follow the A-League, you know that this man is the absolute GOAT. I had to bring him into the squad. Matt Simon is going to cause some absolute mayhem in the Premier League. Punches being thrown left, right, and centre. You know, some Liverpool fans could probably argue that this is a good move. I'm meant to be destroying Liverpool, but I sold Dejan Lovren to Napoli. So there it is. That's the opening window done and dusted. The biggest transfer of the entire transfer window. Jordan O'Doherty coming across to Liverpool. We have, yeah, we've made an interesting side here. Still a lot of players to go, but good stuff. This is what our starting 11 looking is looking like now after that transfer window. Not a bad side at all. Let's see how we're doing halfway through the season. Ah, okay. 
We're coming sick. Definitely not what we were after there. All right, I'm gonna have to go crazy in this transfer window and sell as many of our big name players as possible. I've tried to give the Wanderers Mo Salah for a 57 rated left back in Matthew Cordier and they don't want him. The Wanderers don't want him. What is my club doing? No wonder we're so bad in real life. Well, I offer Trent or Andy Robertson. Now let's go and give them Virgil van Dijk. Surely they're not gonna, they don't want Van Dyke. Western Sydney, I love you, but you are making life very, very difficult for yourselves right now. You've turned down Salah and Van Dyke. We have sold Andy Robertson though to Juventus for 67 million. Nathaniel Klein leaving on a free deal to Leicester City at the end of this first season. Hey, you love to see it. Trent Alexander-Arnold, the pride and joy of Liverpool, headed to Real Madrid for 70 million. So that is how the transfer window went. We weren't able to get rid of players like Virgil van Dijk, like Mo Salah, like Alisson, like Mane. So I might have to take things into our own hands a little bit here. So we're in the squad hub here. I'm going to release as many big name players as possible. It's a dumb move, but we're going to do it. So Virgil van Dijk, Alisson, let's go ahead and release van Dijk. Ooh, 12 million to release him. Does not matter. And then Alisson also leaving. I think the max is two players. Let's see if we can release Salah. Yeah, we can't release him. We've hit the max. So Salah survives another day. We have struck up a deal with Tottenham to see Gomez headed to uh, White Hart Lane or whatever they call it now next season. And the same thing with Sadio Mane headed to Bayern Munich next season. And the third player we've struck up a deal for Adam Lallana headed to Borussia Mönchengladbach come season number two. Somehow we have avoided relegation in this first season with Liverpool. 11th position, yeah, we're going to have to take things up to a different level in season two. Taking a look at how we went in the other competitions this season, I'm not going to do this for every season, but I thought it'd be funny to see the transition. So we lost the Community Shield to Man City at the start of the season. We were eliminated in the third round of the FA Cup. We we're also eliminated in the third round of the Carabao Cup to Crystal Bloody Palace. We got our asses handed to ourselves in the UEFA Super Cup 4-0. Somehow we made it to the quarterfinals of the Champions League. I don't know how. But yeah, that's season one of destroying Liverpool done and dusted. Not the way I expected things to go if I'm being completely honest, but that just gives me more reason to go batshit insane in season two. Ovi Ajaria, the first player to leave in season two, off to Burnley. Adrian is headed to Bazishtas as well. Again, just like Lovren, I'm sure a few Liverpool fans are thanking me for this one. Marco Grujic was out on loan last season, so he's a player that we've had to shift on. Same with Shea Ojo, headed to the Turkish League. Taiwo Oenia, I've definitely mispronunciated his name, but the Nigerian striker headed to Stade Rene. I've got one Petrados. We're going for another Mickey Petrados or Mackie Petrados signing from the Newcastle Bloody Jets for 200 million pounds. Let's go. This was a player that I had to get rid of ASAP. Hova is an absolute weapon in career mode. I didn't want to give him an opportunity to grow. Another A-League player joining the club here, Ziggy Gordon signing for 10 million pounds from the Central Coast Mariners. The man with one of the coolest first names signs on. And Lloris Karius, the GOAT himself, headed to Sheffield United for 9.5 million. Harry Wilson headed to Stamford Bridge. Another A-League player coming in here, Ryan Kitto signing from Adelaide United for two million pounds. My goal is to sign A-League players with cool names. Storm Roo, the Kiwi right back, signing along from the Melbourne Victory for 10 mil. There is no way that I could make this crap up. Mo Salah is headed to Everton. If I couldn't destroy Liverpool anymore, like if there was a code where I could say, oh yeah, let's get a club to put in this offer for this player, I would abuse that. I would make so many jokes in this video. But when Everton came to us and said they'll pay 96 million for Salah, that was a straight up accept straight away. I want to see what happens. So Adam Dawson has signed here. He's a 58 rated right midfielder from Macclesfield. I've signed him for 200 million pounds. I would love if Macclesfield used that 200 million pounds and just climbed the footballing pyramid. We've also sold Camille Bra Bra Bra? I don't even know. I'm lucky I don't have to say that name anymore. Two more player departures as Herbie Kane and Harvey Elliott are both leaving Anfield. I just want to stock up the reserves with a bunch of dud players. So I've gone to the German third division, signing all of these players here 
who are all like in the low 60s. I've also put it off of Kenny Atiyu, but Adina, Bolson, and this guy, Eichmia, and 59 rated. They're not going to be starting. Well, actually, I probably will start them because they're so bad. And as you can see, two more players signing on here. Herman, a left back. I might even play him at striker. I might do... Oh, I should sign a whole team of goalkeepers and play them all at striker. Kenny Atiyu signing from Melbourne Victory as well. Ryan Brewster also leaving the club off to Feyenoord for 3.4 million. Minamino joining Lovren at Napoli. And yeah, so another pretty crazy transfer window in charge of Liverpool. This squad went from having a few decent players to just being absolute dog crap. I mean, look at this squad. We've basically gutted out the entirety of the Liverpool squad. A few players still having to be sold like Jones and Glatzel and those sort of players. But for the most part, it is a very, very bad side. If we somehow survive relegation this season, I'll be surprised. Well, that's exactly what I thought would happen and has happened. At the end of season two, we have been relegated, setting a record for the worst Premier League season. Zero wins, three draws, and just three points. We're headed to the championship. Mission successful so far. So now, season three, we need to get rid of the loose ends. The players that have a little bit of hope left in the squad, we need to say goodbye to them. The first one of them is Neko Williams headed to Carter. Ben Woodburn, another decent player. He's headed to SC Braga for five mil. Zepp Vandenberg, if you watch my second channel, you would know how much I love this guy in the Fulham career mode. If you don't watch my second channel, I'm uploading almost every day over there. So go check that out, link in the description. But Vandenberg headed to the Turkish league and Curtis Jones joining Brewster at final. Again, I've gone ahead and brought in some absolute Dud players here, signing them all at once, all from the Swiss League, 59 rated players and 62 rated players. Just going to the Turkish and Swiss Leagues here. These guys are absolute numpties, but hopefully they can help us go to League One. Another one here that has joined on, it is Dickman. What a name. Sonia Dickman. He is going to sign 60 rated. What a weapon. Paul Glatzel, one of the final decent players leaving the club. So there it is. Another destructive transfer window. Hopefully one that's going to seal our fate and get us relegated to League One. And I mean, if you thought our squad was bad before, it is absolutely atrocious now. Players that are getting older are going down in overall. Few players I might have to move on, like oh, Doherty, Good, and Gordon are actually getting too good for the side, so I might have to move them on. The wheels are well and truly into motion. We have been relegated to League One alongside Sunderland, which is pretty funny, but again, another season without a single win. That would mean Liverpool have gone two years without a win. That is funny. So we're into League One. We're almost at the promised land. Let's continue our path of destruction. Our squad's at a point now where some of our starting 11 are good enough to maybe even make us survive League One. So I'm going to go ahead and sign a bunch of Chinese Super League players here that are in the 50s and low 60s and really secure our fate here. As you can see, a lot of players. I still want to sell some of our initial players. Jacob Melling coming across, Nick Fitzgerald coming across, both from the A-League, but... Our side's ridiculous. I'm feeling like Thanos in this video, just snapping my finger and making players disappear. Nathaniel Phillips, the latest. Ziggy Gordon has become too good for this side. So I've sent him to, I believe that's Boca Juniors for 575,000 or whatever it is. There's a few younger Liverpool players here that I just can't get over the line in terms of getting offers for them. So uh, Chivriella and Kelleher, I believe, they're both leaving the club here. I probably won't be able to release Lewis. Yeah, too many already. But Lewis has departed the club anyways. Off to Guangzhou over Grande. Another transfer window has come and gone. A lot of players in, a few players out. Our squad has definitely gotten shitter. Again, I'm showing you the squad after every transfer window just so you can see how crap we've become. And yeah, we're pretty bad. Let's go and see if we actually win a game this year. Damn, we actually managed to win six bloody games with that bad a squad. But thankfully, we have been relegated down to League 2 alongside Wimbledon, Bradford, and Salford City. But Liverpool will be a League 2 side in what, 2025? You slimy bastard Jordan Henderson. You're not getting out of this that easily. I've tried to offer him a contract. He's rejected it. He's not gonna be in our squad for the League 2 season, but I need to go in 
at the start of season five and make sure we get Jordan Henderson. I need to finish this save with Henderson in the club. So that is season four done and dusted. Season five, Liverpool Football Club, a League Two side. There it is. I told you we'd be getting him back. Jordan Henderson, I've offered him £449,000 a week. He's... Or, what? Clusco Football Club? He was a free agent. He was a free agent. What? Accept. Accept. I'm tapping A. What? A. Accept. What the hell? Maybe if I go and negotiate, that'll do something. I'm hitting A and nothing's happening. Let's go negotiate. Come on. Let's see what he says. What is going on here? What? Uh, crucial? I can't skip it. Have I crashed the game? Oh god, I've crashed my game. So my game just completely crashed there. I've gone back in. Luckily, I had a save point. And Henderson... Like, I pressed advance. Henderson's gone to that club. Negotiations are over. God damn it, you slimy bastard, Jordan Henderson. There it is. I've simulated to the end of this fifth season. As you can see, we have finished in 23rd position. Meaning, if non-league football was in FIFA 20, Liverpool would be playing in semi-professional ranks. Oh my god. Here is a final look at the squad we have put together. Definitely quite different to the one I showed you guys at the start of the video. But honestly, I had so much fun making this video. If you guys want to see me do a destroying video with any other clubs, please let me know. Use the comment section to your advantage. Leave a comment letting me know because this was a good release for me. I mean, like I said at the start of the video, I was going to go down and have a sparring session with a punching bag to get some rage out. But instead, I just decided to destroy an empire. <laughs> but anyways, lads, if you enjoyed it, make sure you leave a like on the video. Subscribe down below if you are new around here. I'll see you for the next one very soon. It's been Jared HD here. I'm out. Peace.